And on the first play from scrimmage, it'll be a handoff and plenty of room in the running game for South Carolina. That was Edwards in motion. Helinski finds him. And Brian Edwards takes it to midfield. And it'll be right at the marker. B and where their talent really is. They lost their best defensive back, Devontae Robinson, to injury earlier. This one's complete. The Tavian Feaster, the Clemson transfer, is in the tempo. That'll help with the run game and the play action. Helinski checks back over the middle. Big game coming for Shai Smith. It's a pickup of 22 as the opening drive rolls on for Carolina. Helinski had a magnificent day against the Tide. Hands it off. Beautiful cutback. And down to the two goes Feaster. You're right. They're gassed early. Straight ahead. Touchdown, South Carolina. Tavian Feaster. The call it second and nine, and he finds Bowden. Bowden working against the zone is able to pick up a first down on 13. Opening drive for Kentucky. It's Rose, and Rose is immediately swallowed up. Smith flushed, floats it, intercepted by Ernest Jones. Sawyer Smith tried to float it over the top of Jones, ends up in his gloves. He's got Brandon Eccles across from him. Helinski going for a screen. Feaster is able to haul it in, but no gain. Florida game. On third and three, lob into coverage and incomplete. And the third down struggles continue for this Kentucky team. The Australian punter on the Red Guy Award watch list. Best in the country. Brian Edwards had a long way to go to try to get to it. Did it go off of Carolina? If it did, it'll be Kentucky football. The Cats able to jump on it. Play to corral it. Wow. That's, that's unlucky in some way. I mean, that's tough. Ohio. On second and five, he rips it to the outside. But they have great coverage on Allen Bailey Jr. Looking for Wagner. And to the tight end. Complete the well short of the sticks. The extra effort won't be enough for Justin Rigg. And South Carolina turns him over on downs. Earlier, he's in rhythm, and he's much more accurate. 8,000 yards and 85 touchdowns at Orange Lutheran. On third down, they're looking for a catch and run from Chavis Dawkins. Four man rush. Nobody there. With alerts where they call two plays in the huddle, I mean, he controlled the game at the line of scrimmage. Now, what a decibel difference on third downs. Here's Dowdle, and he stayed on his feet to crawl inside the 30. Positions played between the ears. When you're confident, things slow down, you start to see it better, you start to rip throws like that. And this is Dowdle. Dowdle gets bear-hugged after a yard by Calvin Taylor, the former AAU basketball standout. He said the toughest guy he had to defend was Andrew Wiggins playing in Peach Jam over in Myrtle Beach. Things getting a little tougher when it comes to SEC football. Smith looking the other way, and incomplete. Balanced play selection for the Gamecocks. Helinski pressured and dropped. Straight up the middle and a shot to the face from Calvin Taylor Jr. See here, it's going to twist. Taylor's going to come over the top. Great job slow playing it, using his hands, throwing the off. Lynn Bowen at quarterback. He's going to keep it, and he finds a gap right up the middle. Here's Bowden out of Youngstown in Ohio and running free in Soda City for a gain of 20. Over center. Bowden fakes the pass, had a lead blocker, couldn't follow him. Four-man rush wins up front for South Carolina, and the ball comes loose. It's another Gamecock takeaway. It ends up in the hands of Aaron Sterling, and that was a flat win up front. D.J. Wanham popped it loose. Come hard off the edge by Wanham. And if you're Sawyer Smith, you got to step up and through the pocket to find your receivers over the middle. You can't retreat from that spot. That tackle does a good job. Run your guy past the quarterback and upfield if he's. 
And they do. And it turns into a big game for Rico Dowell. It's a touchdown! Bill Muschamp told us what was coming, and it ends up in six. Pressure coming in Smith's face. He gets it off incomplete. Helinski fires incomplete. That was a bullet. First one less than three yards tonight. Busted play. Bowden loses the football. They'll get nothing. And he goes down. Another sack for Carolina. D.J. Wadham. Not getting beat with speed. Because these defensive ends can pin their ears back and rush with speed. Not Belinsky <laughs> trying to escape trouble. That'll be intentional grounding. Will it? Yeah. Sawyer Smith gets thrown to the ground by Aaron Sterling. I, just, I still can't get over that. Tua set a Alabama record. How's this? Tevian Feaster. The Clemson transfer. Carrying dudes with him. Will the Alabama rushing attack as well. It just does not matter near as much as it did five, ten years ago. It's amazing. Look at this. Helinski's got the football. One, two punch is crucial for South Carolina moving forward. Here's Feaster. Wow, he just muscled in to the end zone. Yusuf Corker. Instead of bringing him down, escorted him. 19-yard run and the second touchdown of the game for Tavian Feaster. Never run out of bounds, right? I mean, the easy thing here would be to hold that stiff arm, just coast out of bounds, take your 14, 15-yard gain, plants his foot, says, nope, I'm going to take this one all the way, redirects, and there's the strength of that 220-pound frame. Chase, and they will catch him. DJ Wanham and Sawyer Smith. It just seems like this year, Helinski got hit pretty hard. This year, five, six, seven yard hitch route to the wide side of the field with ease. I mean, he's talented. That opens the door for Rodriguez. And Christopher Rodriguez Jr., the freshman, shown some get up and go. Fantastic. And Maurice Claret, who of course played at Ohio State. Bowden on the run. And this is what he can do. Bowden bends it back to the inside. Weaves his way through traffic and takes it all the way to the two. A first and goal. Rodriguez pushes his way in. First touchdown of his career for the freshman from McDonough, Georgia. Drawn up. Four runs past it. And that one goes 10. And Kentucky almost got it, but Shai Smith was able to take it away. Well, stay tuned. You want to hear what Will Muschamp has to say. Because last time we talked to Cole, he said exactly what they were going to do. Go to 12 personnel, run to the nub side. The first time they tried that in the first play, a 30-yard touchdown. It was Katie Bar the door.